Hi, my name is Cheryl and I'm the PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Meet Simple. In this video, I will be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of plants. I will also include this question to download for free by clicking the link in the description box down below. So let's get started. Question 8. The diagram below shows plants A and B. Part A asks us to state one similarity in characteristics between plant A and plant B. In this question, the characteristics refer to the plant parts. Let's take a look at the diagrams to see what common plant parts that plant A and plant B have. Can you see what's common between the two plants? They both have leaves. Can you see any other common parts? If you are thinking of roots, you are correct. Both plants have roots as well. There is one more common plant part between them. Can you see it? It is the presence of stem. Now in this case, do you think the plant has strong stem or weak stem? The plant has strong stem. Let's write that down. Now that you have identified what's common between the two plants, let's now try to phrase our answer. I have always taught my students that whenever the question asks you for similarity, there is an important keyword that you have to include in your answer. Do you know what's that keyword? That keyword is the word both. So this is how you can phrase your answer. Both plant A and plant B have leaves. If you would like to mention other characteristics, like the strong stem or the roots, that will be acceptable as well. Let's now take a look at part B. Part B mentioned that a student wrongly concluded that plant A is a non-flowering plant. Explain why his conclusion is wrong. If you examine the diagram of plant A above, you would realize that plant A has no flowers. And many students would then conclude that since this plant has no flowers, this is a non-flowering plant. But is this really 100% true? Let me share an analogy to you so that you can understand this better. Imagine that you are given a few tomato seeds. And because your teacher in school shared with you that tomato plant bears beautiful yellow flowers, you happily went to your garden, planted those seeds, watered them every day so that you can see those beautiful flowers. So after a few days, you noticed that your seeds started to germinate. So you watered them for a few more days and you realized that your plant started to grow bigger and bigger. However, after a few days passed, you still did not notice any flowers on your tomato plants. Is it because your tomato plants are special and would not be able to bear flowers, while other tomato plants can bear flowers? That's not true, right? So why did your tomato plants not have any flowers on them at the current moment? This is actually because your tomato plants are still a young plant. When do you think the plant will be able to start producing flowers? They will only be able to produce flowers when they are in the adult stage. So if you do not see any flowers on the plant, can you say definitely that it is a non-flowering plant? You cannot, because it might be a young flowering plant. So this is how you can phrase the answer for part B. Plant A might be a young flowering plant. As plant A is not in the adult stage yet, it will not be able to produce flowers. Let's move on to part C. Based on the diagram above, State an example of a plant with a similar method of reproduction as plant B. Let's figure out how plant B reproduces first. If you look at plant B above, there are some special things growing on plant B. Can you tell me what those are? Those are flowers. There are flowers growing on plant B. And this means that plant B is a flowering or a non-flowering plant. This means that plant B is a flowering plant. So how do you think a flowering plant reproduces? Let me give you a hint. These flowers on plant B, what would they develop into eventually? They would develop into fruits. And if you cut these fruits open, what do you see in these fruits? The fruits contain seeds. So this suggests to us that the flowering plant reproduces by seeds. Since part C asks us for an example of a plant with a similar method of reproduction, this question is trying to ask you whether you know any other plants that reproduces by seeds. And they are essentially our flowering plants. So you can just write in any flowering plants that you can think of 
and that would be the answer. And one example would be the rose plant. Thank you for watching this video. If you find that this video was useful, do give us a thumbs up and leave us a note in the comment section below so we know we are on the right track. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and click here for more. See you next time!